Hi, this is Dr. Dan Purser, danpursermd.com. We're going to have our Facebook Live tonight. It's on the magic, wait, wait, it's called SpectraCell, the magic of intracellular. <laughs> now I cracked myself up. SpectraCell, the magic of intracellular testing. I think that's too wordy. How about just SpectraCell, Dr. Purser will amaze you. <laughs> okay. Um, across from me is Jackson. And by him is is Brecky Joe. That's what we, her new name, new nickname, Brecky Joe. We call. Now I keep calling her that tonight. She's changed my name. Yeah, I've changed her name. I've done it before. Usually I change it on their birth certificates too, which really confuses them and their spouses. But Sounds no. legal. Yeah. Well, I hear. Well, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, so Brecken is here. Jackson is here. Jackson. You've been working for weeks on that theme song. That's what I've been told. I heard that you've been playing it on the piano and your flugelhorn. No. What have you brought tonight to play? <laughs> oh, no. Mm -hmm. uh. What? What? <laughs> That's horrible. It's, it's not horrible. It's, it's very well thought out and very intensive. Very practiced. Very rehearsed. Your thumbs hurt if you do that. My thumb has been hurting me a little bit. I quit laughing so much. I can't understand me. <laughs> so your thumbs don't hurt or do hurt after you play it? They just kind of hurt in general. So It's kind of like driving nails with your thumb. How do you do that? I mean, uh, uh, yeah, you couldn't do that. Okay. <laughs> so, so um, Brecken, how's everything going? Good. Everything great? <laughs> Everything's going good. We, and we don't really have a script tonight, do we? But you set something up for me to surprise me, didn't you? Did I? Yeah, yeah well, I didn't do these. Oh. You've looked. He told me he wanted Spectre Cell Reports so he could show you guys what it is, what you guys. So I've probably seen these in the past sometime. Yeah, Okay, but I don't remember them. No, you probably don't. <laughs> this is also what you do all day, every day. You yep. Take a look at people's spectacles. I just shows. wing it half the time. Yeah, it's, I do look at everything the, usually the night before, two or three days before. I've gone through it, so I haven't done it this time, but I've already, she says I've already looked at these, so I have some small amount of history. There you've removed names, dates of birth, and sexes, so mm -hmm. we don't know. Yep, keep it anonymous. But I have a pretty good idea from the deficiencies, I'm sure. Yep. You can get an idea from that, by the way. Oh, yeah. So, so also tonight, we're going to have a cell on these spectra cells, I heard. Yep. Again. Just like last weekend, we are doing the spectra cell, spectra sale, where if you buy it. Did you say price, spectra sale? Yeah, spectra sale. That's like me saying Bracky Joe instead of Bracky Joe. I don't even know where this is That's coming okay. from. That's Oki. Breakfast? You guys make yeah, fun of me Yeah, you guys need breakfast. to say that. But I, the Breakfast sounds totally normal to me. Breakfast. Well, you're not saying any different than I am. Breakfast, <laughs> gal girl, get up and eat your grits. Well, Okie Joe, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Did you call me <laughs> Doctor <O> Okie Joe? <laughs> you called me Okie Joe. <laughs> but we are having the Spectra sale. If you purchase the test right now, it does include 15 minutes with Doctor Purser to go over the results. So it's a free consultation with him, which we don't do often. We don't I have don't Spectra sales done it often. Before, have we? I think we did it last year, two years ago, two years ago. Wow. Yeah, we don't do it often. So you're giving my time away free. <laughs> yep. So I'm worthless. We're trying to work you to the ground. I'm valueless. Invaluable. I or can't be valued? <laughs> I don't know. There you go. <laughs> you, so am I... I think I'm valueless is what you're saying. No, you're not valueless. You're valuable. It's a great thing for all these people. They want to Valuable, pop like I'm full of bull, but I still have some value. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Um, so spectra cells are a great test. I've been using them in my office for years. I used them when I did research uh, down south, and uh, I learned about them then from a really, really smart physician who I will not name because uh, it embarrasses him. But um, yeah, so let's go to. So we just. Well, start? why don't you explain what a spectra cell is first? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I should. <laughs> so it's a kit. We should have one. I can go get one. But we don't have one. <laughs> it's fine. But I think we forgot that main we, problem. We've done videos. I'll go yeah. try to find a, a link to one of the videos of you explaining about the kit. It's on the page. Okay, yeah. So um, yeah. so we send it to you. You have it drawn either by some family member who's a nurse, your neighbor who's a veterinarian, or your husband comes in and shakily puts a needle in your arm and draws I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> or, or, or need be will include a script. 
for you to go have a, the phlebotomy, the blood drawn at some lab near you. You'll have to pay a small fee, but or you come into our office and we draw it. Mm-hmm. Um, it looks at 39 different vitamins, minerals, amino acids on an intracellular basis. There lies the rub. There lies the separation point between it and every other test. It's intracellular. And hey, we often diagnose things that we cannot. There is no other way to diagnose these like a CoQ10 deficiency, a serine deficiency, a, a B3, a B6, a B7 deficiency. Brecken, what's B7? Not niacin. <laughs> not niacin. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah, it's not Biotin. Not, it's biotin. I didn't B7. Google that. Choline is what vitamin B. You're going to make me Google a bunch right now? <laughs> B. They don't often know on Google, but it's B8, isn't it? I don't know. I'm probably wrong. Probably B9 or something. Um, B9. <laughs> it's benign vitamin. That's a weird joke. Okay. Yeah, B8. B8. Choline, lack of choline does what to you usually, Brecken? Eye twitching. That's yeah. what I found or out. Or finger twitching or hand trimmer. Yeah, I guess. Instead of a benign hand trimmer, like Dr. Purser idiotically diagnosed you with when you were like 12... Whoa, I never thought about that. Yeah, you I always talk so about shaky. shaky hands all the time. Holy, yeah. I never, ever, ever thought about it. You're I, the one who told me that. I, well, my eye was twitching. I figured it out with my eye twitching. Yeah, like I, my eye tw- was twitching more. I was going to have the I eye I didn't surgery. even think about my hands stopped twitching. They really don't do that. They don't shake yeah, it off. Yeah, it's all. a choline deficiency. That's <laughs> pretty cool. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Benign <laughs> intention tremors are often misdiagnosed. They're really biotin deficiencies. And I no, had that. Choline oh, deficiency. I had biotin, too, but. Yeah. Biotin causes what? She should get my book that was number one. <laughs> on Amazon. It's only four ninety five now. On Kindle. On Kindle. Get the Kindle version. Um, it's all about spectra cell results. So what mm-hmm. do these mean? Um, yeah, because when I was getting ready to have eye surgery, my colon was, sorry, my eye was twitching like mad. Mm-hmm. And he came up and said, Remember you told me I couldn't go to be a nurse because I couldn't draw blood because mm-hmm. my hands twitched so bad and it tremored. And so I found out that choline cured me. I didn't. I thought it was empty to far and door. I think it was. I thought it was oh. my thyroid issues causing my hands no, to shake. No, it was your, I thought it was benign and intention tremor. It totally could be thinking about it now. It yeah. was my eye that was nonstop twitching and then I took choline and it went away. Yeah, like my, my eye was doing the dance. I was like, mm-hmm. I'm going to have surgery on my eye on Monday. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you had me on nested, nested choline for yeah. a brand I often suggest. So, okay. So, that's just a hint. Like a chromium causes what? The Blood sugar issues? Insulin resistance? Insulin yeah. receptor dysfunction, which is actually another name for that is insulin resistance. Um, zinc will 2, so will B12, so will D3. But, col- but but chromium's the big bad ugly. Selenium will cause, like a selenium will cause what? Is that with thyroid? Thyroid. Because thyroid is a seleno hormone. Mm-hmm. So I often get people in here going, I'm, I'm hypothyroid. I'm like, are you sure? And we check and they have a bad selenium deficiency and a zinc deficiency on top of it. Those two, you are not going to make thyroid or your thyroid receptors are going to be dysfunctional too. Dysfunctional thyroid or insulin receptors are the same thing as saying thyroid resistance or insulin resistance. Gotcha. So, okay. Well, let's look at number one. Go ahead. Your point of talking about all these briefly real quick is that with a spectrocell test, you can see these intracellular deficiencies. Right. Yeah. Right. And and they're, they're so serum deficiency suddenly means squat. And mean anything. What's a serum deficiency? Just That's so one that doctors have diagnosed because they've checked your serum. If your intracellular level is fine, it doesn't matter. You may eventually have a, a intracellular deficiency because first you have to have a, uh, a serum deficiency. But I've seen normal serum levels and in, in, in bad intracellular levels. Why is that? Mm. Because certain genetic errors like MTH4 and stuff or Fuller 1 or Fuller 2 or those prevent you from absorbing certain forms of the vitamin and or that you, may be the only form you took or you see really high serum levels and extremely low intracellular levels because they're taking the wrong thing yeah they go toxic yeah either way wrong yeah crazy yeah so uh, yeah spectrocell guides you especially 
since 85%, I believe 85% of young living distributors, 85% of Utahns have MTHFR. And it's kind of a good guide on what you can and can't absorb and how you get around it. So when we design something like Tiny Bite or, uh, or MTHFR Endure, do I have Endure here? Yeah. Oh, right well, yeah, or Endure, which is our big seller. Um, it's designed to go around all these genetic errors and still get into your cells. That's how we designed them. That's why you feel so good on it because it goes around all your genetic errors piece by piece and gets into your cells so, and does its job. Fills in the blank after your error. And that's the whole point of a spectra cell. The num so what's the number one reason I get spectra cells for? Do you guys know? Fatigue. Fatigue. Everyone's like, I am so exhausted. And then they come on and go, my hormones are messed up. My periods are messed up. Mm -hmm. I think I'm hypothyroid. I'm like, are you tired? Oh, my gosh, that's the worst symptom I have. They don't even mention it to me until I ask them. And it prompts them, and they'll say, I think I, I want to die every day about, by about 2 or 3 o'clock. <laughs> I'm so exhausted. And they're drinking tons of caffeine, um, everything else, trying to get around it. So, Okay, well, let's start with number one. All right, let me pull it up real quick. Make sure we're all good to go here. Center you back. Okay. That's it? Mm -hmm. Am I by it or behind it? It's right next to you. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, so you can kind of, oh, there you go. Oh, you mm -hmm. can yeah. see, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this spectra cell was done on a, um, I believe it was a 52 year old female. We'll it's just say. Around that. there, yeah. Yeah, and it showed an asparagine deficiency, a calcium deficiency a serine deficiency and a D3 deficiency. Borderline deficiencies that also can flip back and forth in, in between full-on deficiencies or borderline deficiencies uh, show a chromium, pantothenate, B12, and zinc deficiency. First of all, this lady guaranteed has osteoporosis because of that calcium deficiency, D3 deficiency, um, B12 and zinc deficiency, she cannot have hard bones. So you'd say it's a guarantee, or would you say she's on track? Man, I'd just about guarantee it, mm -hmm. or certainly osteopenia. Gotcha. So, and so that's why the bisphosphonates don't work. That's why these uh, osteoporosis drugs have such bad side effects, because you're giving them people to people with really just these bad vitamin deficiencies. You deal with these, maybe adjust some hormones that, you know, you know, postmenopausal HRT, that forces, um, the minerals and vitamins into the bones and their bones get hard again. We do it all the time. So also, uh, she's probably borderline diabetic. She may not know it, but she's headed that way. Why is that? Chromium and D3 probably. Chromium, D3, cr borderline chromium, full-on full D3 deficiency, B12 and zinc. Mm -hmm. you're, so those are really important pieces for your insulin receptors on your cell surface. Remember you have hundreds, even thousands on each cell. Certain cells have certainly have thousands of insulin receptors. But if you're missing chromium or D3 or zinc or B12, your insulin receptor will not function correctly. You'll appear to be a borderline diabetic or full-blown diabetic. I get diabetics in here all the time, and what I find, especially when early on, is that they just have a chrome, bad chromium deficiency. They look like this. And I treat those problems, and their their so-called diabetes melts away, just goes away. Um, not that their doctor misdiagnosed them. He just didn't go deep enough, right? Mm -hmm. There's a reason why you become diabetic. It's not magic. It's often a bunch of vitamin deficiencies affecting your insulin receptor functionality or your hypothyroid. If it's not Hashimoto's or one of the others, antibody-based um, uh, hypothyroidism it could be because you have a vitamin deficiency like selenium or like zinc or like um, those would uh, be sufficient right there those two so also this patient is very very tired so I put them on asparagine which is kind of hard to find you have to go to a, a website to get it it's not on Amazon calcium you got to use a calcium that's not a um, not a uh, carbonate because carbonate has lead calcium carbonate always has lead in it. You should not take anything with calcium carbonate. Serine and D3. Serine is amino acid, so is asparagine. Those are non-essential amino acids. You can not You can make those on your own, but due to their genetic errors, like probably I'm guessing this person has MTHFR because of the B12 pentothenate 
deficiencies. Um, probably milder form of it actually, maybe their heterozygous C677T, yeah. um, but um, they will not make asparagine and serine, two amino acids that you need to form and need to make, or you'll have major problems. So if you want to look up these problems, you can grab my little book, like I was saying, I was joking around about it earlier, but it's only four ninety five. you can tell after we talk, or after you get your copy of your spectra so you can look all those up, and then I'll guide you on what to take. Usually it takes 100 days to change these numbers, 100 days. Now this person had a really bad calcium deficiency. Of all the deficiencies she had, calcium was off the charts. It was yeah. non, I mean, I wouldn't say it was non-existent, but it's a third of what it should have been. Um, yeah, bad. So it will take her a good 100 days, if not 120, 150 days to get this corrected. I'd probably suggest a, 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 a redo on this. At that point, I rarely do. But I'd probably suggest it on this patient for sure. Yeah. Just because I don't want her to have osteoporosis. If she's got it, I want to resolve it. I want to flip it. So does that all make sense? Yeah. And you can show them what the report looks like a little bit. No. In the yeah. If you want to go to the next page, yeah. I, we have them all. We can just we show them, them at least. Yeah. Because then they can see how deficient she is when you look yeah, at this is there's where their suggestions are. Spectrozone makes suggestions. I'll tell you, I double it. Whatever their suggestions are, I double it. Because I used their suggestions in the beginning years ago, and it wasn't enough. Yeah. Um, and you feel a lot better pretty quick. With, certainly within the halfway mark when I follow up with you and go, it's been eight weeks, how you doing? And, you know, and they'll usually go, oh, my gosh, I feel so much better. Or seven weeks. I usually give people nine or ten weeks because it takes a, a few weeks to go on all these vitamins. You do not start them all at once. One at a time. Start low, go slow, build up. That's the key. Or you will be <laughs> sick, nauseated, and hate yeah. me. Don't take everything at once. We, that's our biggest problem we run into. People just want to get results fast. And I tell them that. Fast. I always say don't start these all at yeah. once. Do them one at a time. Low and slow is his key phrase always. Yeah. Remember that. Low, low and slow. So, um, yeah, and here's where it shows you the ranges. You can look on page four, page four of six on this report, and if there's gapping the with the defi absolute deficiencies, if there's a little gap on the line. You can look through it when you get one and see it, but uh, like for her, calcium gaps a little. It and shouldn't gap at all. You can see the ones that are in like the red, black, and then that are in the green, that right. are white. That means they're good. Black means borderline. Red means deficient. So you can, it's really laid out really easy so you can exactly see. Right. It's really nice. Right. But guess what? These problems go away. Your diabetes goes away. Uh, I call it unwinding. I, I never say in cure diabetes, but man, I pretty much get rid of it. I mean, you don't have it anymore. Um, so uh, I guess it is kind of a cure because you're really dealing with just a zinc or a, 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 a chromium deficiency. Yeah. Really. Uh, they're the most common cause I see of diabetes is a B12 mm -hmm. deficiency. But I'm in Utah where 85% of people have MTHFR. Remember, and I think 85% of young living distributors, when we designed Master Formula, that's what uh, the R&D team and, we ca and I came up with. So, Okay, number two. Number two is a 42-year-old female, roughly, I'm guessing, looking at this. Um, she has an ALA deficiency, a CoQ10 deficiency, and a vitamin A deficiency. She, the CoQ10 and vitamin A are really bad. If we can go to page four and see that, we will. They're bad. Um, um, borderline is biotin, choline, copper. Copper is interesting. Manganese, selenium, B12, B1, B3, D3. B12, B1, B3. D3. I'm going to tell you what some of those do. Manganese helps you detox. I mean, how weird. Real quick, I think this is important. This is a young person, too. I think right. you guessed. This is an 18 year old. Oh, what? Well, I yeah. thought that was 42. I looked it up. No. This okay, one is someone that young. Because that's yeah. a question someone was asking is do you have to be a certain age to get this? But really, if you're having I'm issues. I'm glad you corrected me. Yeah. I was guessing 42. I know you did. Good. You did good. The other one was bad. It was better. You did get that. Yeah, to have so many deficiencies, it's yeah. such a young It is age. unusual, yeah. but not, not unheard of. Even, yeah, I mean, it is unusual, but at the same time, this happens every day in our and practice. And then you see all the deficiencies up there? Yep. Yep. Yeah, there are a lot. Yeah. Yeah, CoQ10 will give you severe brain fog. Um, that's bad. Vitamin A, 
you'll break out. You'll have bad acne. You'll also have color and night vision problems. You can go blind if your vitamin A level gets slow enough. That's interesting. Yeah, so um, night vision and color blindness are problems with vitamin A. Um, CoQ10 is you're just exhausted and horrible brain fog. Yeah. I, this girl was exhausted. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, now I know who she is. Yeah, you so. remember now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> biotin, your hair will fall out. You'll get really thin nails with waves in it. If you run your finger along this way and you feel bumps or divots, so drops in, in your nail, you have a biotin deficiency. Probably. Choline, eye twitches, tremor, like Brekinad, <laughs> like I had before the eye surgery. But the biggest one on this page, what do you think the biggest one is? You're going to say copper. Why do I say copper? Why is a copper borderline deficiency or deficiency a big deal? Fibro. Fibro. Because if you can't handle copper on an intracellular basis, something is the matter with your copper, zinc, metallothionine. Do you want to kind of explain that? Because it seems a little backwards when you first hear it. Like, why would you have a copper deficiency if you can't handle so copper? So I think it's fibro. I think fibro, nature passed for years have thought that fibromyalgia was caused by copper toxicity issues. I agree with that. Those serum copper levels get really high on fibro cases. Uh, but this is not a serum copper level. This is an intracellular level. What I find on spectra cells when and this girl had not yet figured out she had fibro, um, but she was hurting all the time and they couldn't figure out why. And her mom had fibro too. And so, um, yeah, um, I had to explain what was going on. Um, you can't, the co I think it's a dysfunctional uh, thing called a copper zinc metallothionine that moves copper and zinc into and out of your cells. So it's not moving copper into your cell properly. It builds up in your bloodstream and it shouldn't. Um, you need some copper, but, w but if you have a zinc deficiency, um, Sometimes your body will replace it with copper. So I don't know what her serum zinc is, but um, I do know her intracellular copper level is, is bad. And so, and it fit with all her symptoms. So she had fibro, fatigue, and bad brain fog. Man, our fatigue was horrible. She could not even go to college mm -hmm. or high school. She was really yeah. suffering. But I bet right about now she's not doing any of that, even though I think it's been three weeks, maybe four mm -hmm. weeks. So, um, yeah, her CoQ10 level of vitamin A was bad. So her skin will clear up. Uh, her, her vision will get better. It'll clear, it'll go back to normal. Um, in ALA, you, you, ALA helps recycle and keeps you from keeps you from becoming toxic. It's um, critical for uh, co for your CoQ10, for your glutathione, and for your SOD. You need ALA for all that. And alpha lipoic acid. Um, uh, yeah, and I usually go 600 milligrams twice a day, but she needs she's going to need it for a long time, at least um, 100 days, if not 120, 150, because her levels, CoQ10, all that are bad. So, um, so these are some really interesting cases. Yeah, I think she definitely. I would have thought, even without knowing it, that she had fibro. Sorry, I thought it was that 42 year old. No, it's all good. That one was similar to another one that you saw, though. I remember. I think she's definitely taking something else because I expect her B12 B3 choline by I think I think I'd expect those to be worse so Mike says she's on something like Endure or something I can't remember that she bought off the her, wall yeah. from us so um, because those numbers should be worse yeah so she's definitely doing something positive and already getting a hold of things well and something else that's interesting that I always I'm amazed at what you do is you look at this spectra cell report and you can see that MTHFR. You can see certain genetic errors. We get their genetic results and you're like, I already knew that. They match well, they match up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's the genetic errors that are really causing all this. Yep, exactly. Yeah, so every time I get a bad spectra cell, which if you have any fatigue, you're dealing with you're taking a lot of uh nitro or you're trying to take a lot of of coffee or you're trying to take a lot of you know, soda pop with caffeine, whatever you're doing to stimulate yourself and keep awake in the morning and in the afternoon, it's probably more vitamin deficiency. And, I, and that's the reality. That's what we need to figure out because your appetite may be high. Uh, you're trying to, because your body wants you to 
eat through the vitamin deficiency and supply it. Yeah. And good luck. Um, was that interesting? It is. Yeah, this one's even more so. <laughs> Number three. Number three. Um, Asparagine, a really bad CoQ10 deficiency, a full-on copper deficiency, a vitamin C deficiency, and a K2 deficiency. Borderline, biotin, calcium, manganese, and serine. Again, I think this patient is on something. I think if I remember, but they, most a lot of our patients are taking MTHFR Endure or some other methylation product because they've heard they have MTHFR. You cannot have fibro unless you have MTHFR. That's the fatigue part. A fibromyalgia and it helps you it prevents you from detoxing so and i don't see a, a full-on b12 folate pentothenate deficiency so this person is taking something so and then when i talk to him i'd find out so again the asparagine deficiency which is a non-essential amino acid get them get that to care of it usually does not recur once you correct their vitamins once you figure out their genetics and correct their vitamin deficiencies so asparagine you buy one bottle and that's a CoQ10, bad. Again, really bad. I'd probably go three a day of 100 milligrams for 100 days. More if need be. Copper, you do not give these patients copper. The, the previous patient, you do not give them copper. You have to give them something to fix their copper, zinc, metallothionine. Uh, or to support it. You can't, you can't fix it, but you can support it. Um, so we use copper balance. I received a U.S. patent on that because it works. It does correct um, copper zinc metallothionine dysfunction. And we proved it to the U.S. Patent Office. So, um, um, so I'd give them that really carefully and have them avoid high copper foods. Because I guaranteed if we checked this patient's serum copper levels and ran a formula called the NCC on them, that they would show a lot of copper floating around in their serum. Now you can go to end the Facebook page, write this down, end fibromyalgia with natural options. Uh, and I would download their low copper diet if this happens, if, if you think you have fibro or you, you've had a low copper on spectra cell um, and get on that low copper diet. I know it does not make sense because you have a low intracellular copper level but what that and get on the eventually get on the copper balance because that helps your metallothionine start functioning more correctly and it puts the copper into the cell and out of your serum and moves zinc all around and everything else so people have heard me share my own little story on this before but i've gone through that whole process and with great great success um, from dealing with so much pain all the time so many gut issues but then Getting, eating the right foods and then eventually getting on the copper balance and really right. taking that faithfully and also the glutathione and my life changed. Why is glutathione important too? Though this does test for glutathione, why is glutathione important to the copper zinc metallothionine to fibromyalgia? It all works in the similar pathways, but also it helps to detox, right? It does those two things, but the copper zinc metallothionine, if you Google it or, it's, or go to PubMed and search copper or zinc or just search metallothionine and glutathione you're going to see tons of articles come up glutathione reduced glutathione so the copper zinc metallothionine looks like a trident that of a trident three prongs the middle prong is what it grabs copper and zinc with that's the reduced glutathione portion does it sorry i'm bumping the mic right. that's the reduced glutathione portion and so it, it looks like this if you don't have enough glutathione reduced glutathione there's nothing to grab copper or zinc with so it's a problem then because you can't move the metal around to the right location so i don't know what's missing in your copper zinc metallothionine no one knows only god knows but <laughs> so it's kind of a shotgun approach copper balance which has eight different things that you don't have to buy that you, you can see what's in it you go buy the individual pieces on amazon i'm good with that i'm good with whatever gets you better but because it's got molybdenum and biotin b6 zinc uh, B3, I can't remember what, what's all in there. Brilliant. I looked at a ton of studies and really pondered what to put in that. And then when I got it, it worked. So um, so vitamin C, she needs two, which will help you detox also, weirdly enough. Um, and K2. And uh, she's also, this is also a high osteoporosis, brain fog, bad fatigue, fibro, 
risk case or she has all that so it's just bad mm -hmm. so um if i remember right she's taking endure i think so yeah um so does all that make sense biotin you'll lose hair and thin your nails calcium you'll get osteoporosis coke you'll get brain fog and massive fatigue copper you do not take because it will make you really sick you take instead um the copper zinc you take something to support your copper zinc metallothionine and i think we're the only ones with the patent on that if i remember right farm we have a pharma patent on that mm -hmm. pharmaceutical patent um you just buy the copper balance um and the vitamin c the k2 asparagine biotin calcium manganese serum. um and her K2 and CoQ10 were really bad again. Yeah, it's that's another patient. Yeah. This is a massive osteoporosis case getting ready to happen. And you wonder why. Yeah. And if you got this in your 40s, you can stop it. You can prevent the osteoporosis. That's so amazing. You can take a look, see what your levels are inside of your cells, and then prevent horrible, horrible, painful diseases. Yeah. So cool. That's why I really practice preventive medicine. But what you guys really want me to do is find is do root cause medicine. Find out why you're so exhausted, why you can't focus, why you're so beat up. And then guess what? I we figure it out together, you and me, and I, I pat you on the back, give you a list of things to take, double check, make sure you're good. If we need to, we'll repeat it. Um and after enough period of time has gone by. When you're feeling really good, we'll repeat it. And if you don't feel really good, we'll definitely repeat it because there's something else missing. But yeah, so there it is. So this is our fourth one. And we're almost out of time because we're trying to do these quick, don't we? <laughs> yep. Um, here we go again. This is, um, wow. This is interesting because it has nine vitamin B deficiencies. Mm -hmm. Like every vitamin B known know to man. I know what that means. Oh, man. This uh, is also, just like, you know, this is another young one, and this is a male. Okay, man, wow. 21-year-old. So he will not make testosterone. He'll be exhausted all the time. He'll be not reach his full height. Mm -hmm. This is because some of these have been going on for a while on him. Yep. You can get rickets from a So he has a chromium folate B2 D3 deficiency. Chromium folate B2 D3 deficiency. Four. So one deficiency will make you tired. Four will put you in bed. Yeah. Yeah, and mostly all these patients that say we spend a lot of time in bed. They maybe can get up and get around for three or four hours a day. People get desperate. They've been to 14 different doctors, and they get told the same thing. You have a, a Adderall deficiency. <laughs> or you have a um, Prozac you have deficiency. amphetamine deficiency or a Prozac deficiency. What? No, you don't. <laughs> no, you have a vitamin deficiency. So um, root cause, look, look for the causes. Um, so chromium folate B2 and D3. B2 is riboflavin. This patient has a significant hyporiboflavinosis, which is, you can Google that. Uh, chromium, of course, is going to affect your insulin receptor functionality. Folate, wow, affects 30 different things. Um, also a B12, also a pentothenate. I guarantee this patient has significant MTHFR. Mm -hmm. That's the massive B vitamin deficiencies he's dealing with. So I'd probably put this patient on like Young Living Super B or 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 Thorn Research B B complex stress B complex or something, and maybe give them extra B two and folate on top, or like an Endure on top of it. That's probably where I'd go. Also, the borderline deficiencies are here. We go again: biotin, choline, glutamine, another amino acid. But I only see that with MTH four. Manganese can't detox. Pantothenate, a B vitamin, I only see with MTHFR. Selenium, which affects your thyroid functionality. Thyroid receptor and thyroid manufacturing. Th uh, thyroid hormone is a seleno hormone. It's, isn't that weird? They call it that. Mm -hmm. You can Google seleno hormone and up comes thyroid. Um, without selenium, you're not going to make it. If you're even borderline deficient, you're not going to make enough thyroid. B12, B1, B3, B6, good Lord. Poor kid. Um, <laughs> and parents have been trying to desperately figure out what's the matter with them. Uh, I'd be worried about a tremor because of that choline. Um, I'd be worried about being pre-diabetic uh, and bad thyroid functionality. 
But you know what? I usually don't test at this point. Early on, it's a waste of money, blood, time, effort. Wait until 100 days have passed, then test. Mm -hmm. and maybe again 80, 80 or 90 days after that because your hormones, his hormones are all going to be low. There's no way they're not going to be really low. And, um, and he'll get much better. His hormones will come up. He's going to be a happy camper. So, but it takes a while for it to work. Remember, 100 days to fix these. Some of these are not going to fix in 100 days. They didn't occur in 100 days. They're not going to go away in 100 days. I may go 120, 150, really hammering them with some uh, B2 and D3. So I'd probably, these all four of these, I'd probably suggest repeating. Yeah. Um, it's interesting on this one we we're just talking about, um, on their antioxidants, they have very good glutathione levels. They, I assume they must be taking the VARS glutathione or something else. I think he was. I think, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's but with parents are trying to help him detox or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay, any qu quick questions? Yeah, there's a couple, actually. Okay. Um, just for, like, the spectra cell test in general, when you do get this test done, you don't need to stop taking your current vitamins that you're taking no. already, right? Just no, remember, it takes 100 days to change these numbers. Yeah. Um, if you were on them 100 days ago, I don't care. If you've only been on them a week, who cares? But like he it said, during it, he can tell basically because he's like some deficiencies are missing. He can tell when you're taking B vitamins already because he can see the patterns. And so that's what's always interesting. People are, they always wonder if they need to stop. Yeah, I know you guys pretty well. Yeah. So. so just make note of it just in case. It's rare I get a complete virgin spectra where they don't take any vitamins. I, I, oh, yeah. I drew one a few weeks ago, and I'm going to draw one tomorrow. Well, we should have shown you guys the empty one, the person who had no deficiencies. Really rare. It was the only one I've ever seen in there. Yeah. How many years have we done this? Uh, ten? Uh, maybe I've seen three. Yeah. In over no, it's been longer than ten years. Well, me, ten. But, yeah. Yeah, well, you're like nine. Twenty-five. <laughs> okay. Um, Reckon's really young. If you have the MTH4 mutation, what would you expect to see on the spectra cell test? I know you already said that, but like... D12, folate, pentothenate, serine, uh, glutamine, uh, B3, deficiencies. Mm -hmm. Just generally those Yeah, things. maybe a zinc too. I don't know why because it's not really in the in the program, but yeah. Um, remember 85%, 80, remember so out of these four, three at least probably had MTHFR, if I had to guess statistically it looks like it how young could you get tested spectra spectra is a limit on that mm -hmm. i know some of you buying them and test them I, I still read them uh i probably wouldn't go younger than 14 or 15 yeah but i don't think they're that inaccurate even at 12 or 10. you just did a really i young know one. i know that I was know. interesting to see yeah and they're yeah they were significant but there's always there. reasons you know yeah if it, if there really is a case reach out to us and we can see what yeah and i reason through it yeah, yeah. i kind of see if there's sometimes there's just nothing else you can do exactly yeah. they have autism or something like that i'd definitely be trying to find out what they're deficient in totally but get i realize because uh, i have a, a child with autism that pain issues are a big deal drawing blood on kids with autism is really difficult yeah because they have enhanced pain yeah um how much is this panel 650 and right now, if you purchase it from our website, it does include a free consultation to which go over saves the saves you $100. Yep. And more if you've never been seen before. Yeah, but so because it's 750 if you pay me for yep. my 15 minutes. So. so how, just remind them, how do they get this done? They order the kit online, and then you can either have a family, a friend, member, whoever. Someone in your church, yeah. someone in your neighborhood. Can draw someone you know can drop blood on ours. A friend, a phlebotomist, someone. Or go to a local lab and, uh, and take them a cookie with a 10 or $20 <laughs> bill taped to the back. Mm -hmm. Or uh, we can include a script with it so you can get it drawn. Yeah, and I recommend giving them a call before you go. Don't just show up and say, I need this drawn. You yeah, know? no, bad. Yeah, They'll bad usually choice. help you if you call before. The biggest problem is you got to find the right FedEx because it's got to be FedEx overnight. It's already prepaid for. It's mm -hmm. part of the cost. Yep. Anywhere in the U.S. it goes to FedEx overnight. Yeah. Well, Alaska, can it go from Alaska to think so wow the only state that they're having issues is new york yeah you can't do so it in new york, york is they don't allow you to do yeah. it in new york so but drive to have, new jersey yeah. <laughs> and it, with your kit have it drawn there that's exactly. what people do uh-huh all the time um oh there's a good you can't question go ahead you can't get it done you can't go to lab with a prescription or an order for this they won't they won't know what you're talking about yeah. you got to be signed up you with have to bring yourself. the kit with you yeah 
It's not a normal test, and it goes and gets processed in Texas, so it doesn't you, come to us. The results come to us, but it goes. You to can the lab. certainly it goes to you. You certainly also buy it for inspector cell, but you'll never get the result back. I would bad. I'll tell you that. I know it's a weird thing, but we've had so many patients do that. Yeah, and they're like, I can't get the result back. Can you say you? We you, can't request it. Yeah, we can't request it because we weren't on it to begin yeah. with. So. so. And also, they'll charge us like two thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah, for it's. It. And insurance doesn't cover it, unfortunately. Yeah, they, well, they did, but they gave up. Medicare, yeah. Medicaid, well, but not. No, anymore. they don't anymore. Yeah, good. Nothing. Green. Yeah, it doesn't get covered. It, yeah, but even, it's, it's a FDA good and Health and Human <laughs> Service approved. That's why we I use know. it in research. Yeah. It, it's a great test. It's because it works so well. That oh, you think? No, you're being a little mis I'm just saying. <laughs> Getting on supplements really yeah. changes really people's helps. lives. It's pretty awesome. Um, a, a good question I'm seeing here is do, does this test need to be done again later? That's what I was talking about. I rarely do do that. Usually because you're feeling really good after 100 days. I'm like, let's leave it alone. Let's not repeat it. But if there's any question or doubt or some of these are so bad, I'd probably repeat them, but not at 100 days. Yeah. Maybe 150, 120, 180, mm -hmm. somewhere like that. Usually I've got another metric I'm following. Like if it's a young guy, I'll follow his testosterone level. If it's 400 when we begin or 350 when we begin or – or worse, um, uh, my goal is to see when we correct all this at the six month mark, three month and six months, see where it's going. Uh, but usually it'll, you know, I want to see it at a thousand, eight hundred, nine hundred, if they're young, and it'll get there. But also, there are some times that we have people, like say three years later, four years later, oh yeah, they will get it redrawn just because life happens. I've had know? five of them. Oh, this year? No, no, <laughs> I'm joking. God. And that's it? Year. The whole time you've only had five? Yeah, but I still take everything from the other yeah. five, from all yeah. five. All five. I'll, it's funny because I'll do it twice a day for a year or whatever, and then I'll go to one a, mm -hmm. a day. And Your then I'll own go little protocol. Then I'll go to two or three a week. and Yeah, but I never quit yeah. taking them. Yeah. I never want those back. I, I'm, I'm the same with B12. I haven't had that deficiency, but I won't stop taking that because it's good stuff. Yeah, so... But yeah, so you may have to get it redone in a couple years if life hits you, you're not feeling good. You know, yeah. things can change over time. It's not uh, like your genetics. Right. Otherwise, we deal with your problem that because this covers, for most of you, this is the problem. For most of you, older men or even younger men with low testosterone, unless you played in the NFL or NHL or Division One college football or hockey, chances are your pituitary is fine. And it's really, and your testicles probably are too. So it's really probably a vitamin deficiency. So. And if you're sitting there, your doctor's saying your testosterone's low, Bob, we should give you this, that. I I do this first because I try and most of the patients I find we correct it with vitamins. You know what? Then fly on a little birdie. Go have fun. Make more kids. Do whatever you want. You know, you and your wife can go on cruises, <laughs> all that. You don't need to take shots. So you yep. take your vitamins. Yep. Be a good cowboy and take your B12. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that good? Are we good? Yeah, and I'll go through and answer some questions, too, in the comments, just like random ones that we've You sure you will? Sure. You're not just telling them, are you? No, I will. <laughs> you jump I'll, on there, too. I know. <laughs> I like to. I'm yeah. so darn overworked lately. <laughs> that we're gonna be, so we're going to be bringing in a nurse practitioner to help me. We're bringing in a practice manager first to really help me keep things under control because I don't want to give up any control. <laughs> but um, So I think I'll still see almost everyone to begin with. Uh, probably everyone um, and some of y'all definitely do follow-ups with um, try and keep my hand in everything but that'll be later I think we're three months away from that so maybe six so yeah okay well I love you guys God bless all of you stay safe take your vitamins that's what we help with master formula and super B you can see why now uh, take the that's why I always like try those first I've had 100 days, it doesn't cover it. It's, it could be a CoQ10 or zinc or something weird that you just, who knows, an amino acid, who knows. Um, so uh, then we'll get the spectra cell. But I love you all. God bless and go in good health.